are on the last leg of this beautiful York wall covering installation. My name is Spencer Colden, and thank you for coming onto my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. Please consider subscribing. Certainly click on the like button below and show your support. We're going to wallpaper around a knee wall. A knee wall, K-N-E-E. -E. Let me show you. And I want you to think how, how you would go about this. I will tell you this. If you can wrap a box for a gift, you can do this too. Let me show you. Can somebody tell me how to do this? So here's the job, right? And then we come to a knee wall. That's obviously right near the bowl. So we go from here, obviously, to another wall. Okay. But what, look at this challenge here. These, this pattern necessitates that it be a certain dimension up and down. We have a bird and his head is here, right? But as we come around it, the issue is negligible. We only have a bird who is so obscured, you really can't see that he's upside down. And so the wallpaperer's discretion uh, comes into play. If it were an issue, I would handle this differently. I want to know who on this thread can tell me what to do here. Now, this is what our mother has taught me. Look at this. Um, if you can wrap a Christmas present, you can, you can do this. So what do I do? What do I do here? And what do I do with this? Can anybody tell me? So we go from the water box wall to a, a short wall. And we have to obviously continue the wallpaper. Problem is, is that it not only comes around a corner, but it returns into the cabinet. <clears throat> but worse than that, since we have no sill, as we do here, we're required to continue the wall covering over to here. Question number one, can you go upside down with wallpaper? You would agree that this is not upside down. Okay, but the problem is, is it can be a problem that this is upside down. But I think you would agree that leaves in nature do this. They hang, even when they grow up, they hang down. And what is that called? That is called phototropism. It's just something I remember from the second year of high school, um, back in 1997. So anyway, let's get back to the video. We come around here, negligible issue whether or not that's upside down. I don't think anybody will hold you to account if you were to do it like this. The more important things are the birds. Birds do stick their heads out downward. That's not a problem, neither is that one. I hope you'd agree. If it were, you could simply Make this upright, and you could do your magic on here. Cutting through these forms, having a separate sheet going up, and another one coming up here, meeting over here somewhere, according to your liking. My issue is, what do I do here? As you can see, I had to wrap this the way we would wrap a box for Christmas or the birthday, right? Or whatever. And so now, how do I do this? What are your ideas as I ask you this question? Let me know. I already know what I'm going to do. And so I would just like to know what you would do. Let's do first things first. We're going to make sure that we flatten this out so that we can have a clean cut from the corner straight down. From this corner, straight down. And then we remove the excess and we simply join the two pieces of wallpaper between which we make a man-made scene. The rest is here. What do we do? Well, according to the skills of the paper hanger, we're going to hang a sheet that complements the surrounds. And so we'll have something sort of like the fake out I did. If you watch the video one or two prior to the one you're watching now, you'll see that I produced a video that shows you how I joined my last piece to my first piece. And the seam is right about there, and it goes something like this. 
Okay, getting back to this, you think about it and I will get the piece of wallpaper that's going in there. I think you would agree that since we're going to be looking at this head on, so to speak, I think you would agree that hanging the paper right side up would be preferred, right? And so we're going to introduce a piece of the wall covering that complements this. I don't want to put a deer in there. It's not going to fit. That deer is 11 inches, which exceeds the boundaries of the corners of that. So these are the considerations you want to ask yourself when you decide what's going to be there. I think I like that. I think I like these stems right in the center. What about you? So I'm feeling for my corners, just gently to determine what I want on this part of the wall. I certainly don't want this bird. He's too big. When he, when he goes off onto the corner, since he's not on the other side, people are going to notice that. I see flowers, I like that. And I see flowers that I can cut off. So I've chosen my, my middle. And I'm marking it off with my blade. And I'm going to do the same at the top. And now we'll just, whoa, don't move. Uh -huh. Did you ever find yourself screaming at your wallpaper? Off camera, my, stop moving! I gotta admit, one time the homeowner said to me, are you okay? I said, I'm all right, your wallpaper's acting up. I'm just kidding. Some guy said to me, what is this, a comedy hour or is this a wallpaper channel? I don't get it. I said, and you never will. After manipulating these corners and massaging them into position, making them nice and flat, I decided that it's time to cut them. So we're just going to slice right down at a 45, okay? Let's do that. You don't want to be doing this to unnatural seams. Unnatural seams are those that you make yourself. What I'm saying is you don't want to be doing what I'm doing right now after the cut. So do your final smoothing out. And then, now if you think too much, that's a problem. Because thinking is what gets us all in trouble. Spencer, that wasn't a 45. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we have flaps. And we do want to get them off because of the obvious. By the way, I have a recommendation for you. Painting and decorating. Two fellows, they're brothers from the UK. The guys are awesome. I recommend their channel. La -dee 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 -dee. You know what I love about them? First of all, all their tools are like used, oh, you know, by them. They don't have fancy stuff to show you, you know? I don't want to pull on that. Okay, so 
Let me clean these up, get these wings off of here. And then we'll do our, this is the main thing, we're going to put the face on it. Okay, I cleaned up my underlap. And that's what we're looking at now. So now let's get this going, okay? Uh, don't do that on camera. but it's time to turn. And then here's the deal, guys, in all seriousness. I take, the average video takes 35 minutes to edit. That's the average. Many of them take over an hour. When you put all the clips together, delete, add the graphics. And I ask you, hey, do me a favor, put a like. I don't know if you forget, or you say, no, I'm not helping this guy out. I really would appreciate it if you would just take the moment as you're watching this to hit like. Because what it does is, it tells YouTube that there are people watching the video and interacting. Not just watching it, it's not on somebody's phone playing while they're sleeping. But that actually somebody is actually watching it. Somebody to whom they can make an advertisement. So, you know, people benefit from these, I, I assume. Why else would they watch them? But uh, help me out and please click on like. Okay, I'll do it. Stop asking. Stop asking, Spencer. We're going to use our shirt. This is a sharp one. You don't want to get stuck with this thing. His name was Spencer. Folks, this is not easy. Okay? We're dealing with a small space here. There's only so much you can do. As you know. As you know. As you know. As you know. I like this flower. Let me let you guys in here. Let me let you guys see this. Okay, let me get you a nicer place. I brought you closer. Does this ever happen to you? You put something down and you hear it. I'm so sick and tired. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys can see this. I don't want to get too close to that edge. Now, if this were thicker wallpaper, 
the procedure would be completely different. You're not going to get wallpaper, thick wallpaper, to wrap around the corner and um, and stay in place. As you know, you know that. Okay. Oh man. Of course, of course, of course. Okay. What's going on here? I love when things don't go right when you're videoing. You know? Everything goes fine off camera. You put the camera on, you got problems. People are still calling me, asking me, Yeah, Ethan, are you still hanging wallpaper? I'm like, uh, you know, you, you're never rude to customers. Uh-uh. Never, never, never. I'm like, uh, yeah, uh, why would I stop? Okay, that was an error on my part, but that's all right. No big deal. Because we're going to continue that. No big deal. We're going to be artistic, right? We're artists. And as artists, we, we make do, right? Matter of fact, I'll do it again. I want that flower in there. I want it. All right? I want that flower. Or most of it. I'm on the edge. So let's just try. We have to now get the refuse, the underlap, gently. This is when you want to shut the camera off and make believe that you don't make these mistakes. But we don't do that here. We, uh, we're transparent, right? Actually, if it were that big, I would go off camera and fix it. Oh, gosh. See, now let me just show you something here. You want to keep this up. You don't want to overly stress this thing. Very hard to get it back into place, believe it or not, you know? So try to keep that in place as you do this. You see how I'm leaving it there? Believe it or not, you move that from its original position, it's not that easy to get back into position. It's work. Oh, goodness. I don't know what happened there. I know what happened. <laughs> I messed up, that's what happened. I'm trying to just sever it. Okay, I guess that'll do it. Do it, do it, come on, come on, man. On camera here. I'm a YouTube star, I can't be making up mistakes like this. Now people are impressed. Thank you. 
La -dee 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 -dee. Now, what would what would you put in here before you close this up? Water, right? Tss, tss, tss. All right, that's what I suggest you do, so that when you close it up, you don't have bumps. All right, that's a good idea. Why didn't you do it? Cause I'm lazy. No, just kidding. But that's what I would do. If, if you're inclined to close that up, just think, is it soft? Spencer, I can't believe you. Oh my goodness. You are a magician. Where did you learn this? I love you. Yeah, give me a good review. I will, I certainly will. I'm gonna give you a review. I got busy, I was making spaghetti meatballs for my family. I forgot to do it. I'll do it Tuesday. Hi, did you do the review? I forgot, stop asking. They don't do it. All right. Now, I'm going to roll it. Before you criticize, let me finish. Let me finish. The worst customers, let me just tell you, don't tell anybody I said this. The worst customers are the ones who come in and they say, Spencer, Spencer, there's a bubble up in the right corner. Uh, yeah, that corner has to come down. I'm just waiting till it stiffens up. But thank you for noticing the bubble and not the fact that I got three quarters of the bathroom done today. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that my husband said that there was a bubble and I wanted to show you that there was a bubble. Yes, the husband. I didn't say anything. <laughs> okay, guys, what do you think? What do you think, Jack? Okay. Now keep in mind, you're not always going to be able to satisfy the pattern like you can up there you know we're talking about a small space we got six inches here do you like it let me show you the whole project <laughs> 